A Bromo Seltzer. I just found another gun. Is this number seven? I think it might be eight. Number seven or eight even. You can see it's a revolver. That is so cool. I'm so excited. Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. We are here at Dead Horse Bay again, bringing you another round of bottle hunting. Now, the last time we were here, we found a lot of really cool things to include those rounded off Chianti bottles, which are French. So we're hoping to have some more luck like that. So without further ado, I'll see you guys on the first. Sonia just found this little medicine dropper. And on the actual dropper, it's got the measurements on it. That's a pretty cool, cool first find. We just found this bottle that says Dazzle on it. This is the first one. I'm assuming it's something like a Clorox product or one of the Rosex bottles, but we're going to go ahead and keep this one. It really says Liberty Ink Company, New York. That is an awesome find. I love that. It's got some reddish ink in there. Found a nail polish bottle. It still has nail polish in it. So you just found the squid bottle. All right. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, guys. I just got number 21. That is the 21st gun that I have found. It's missing a lot of it. That is so cool. <laughs> we did it. Look at that. That is so cool. No matter where we go, Sonya always finds a knife. Oh yeah. <laughs> we have here, guys. We got part of an old 7-Up bottle. The label has seen better days, but still a 7-Up bottle. What is in this, guys? Yeah. It's like maybe candle wax or something in there. Okay. Oh, it oh, says Mason on it. I didn't have to keep her. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. You can see off this bottom there, it says Mason. That's it's a keeper. Cool over yet. Oh. Look at that label. That is beautiful. That's a caper. That's a keeper for sure. And Sonia. I just found a gun. That has to be. It's twist it up mangled but that's the trigger for sure it's yeah. definitely a trigger that's two three guns basic almost if the other one is a gun why is it so mangled that is super mangled <laughs> but it's definitely a gun look at it the barrel comes through it's bent up really bad here's the trigger here with the trigger guard that is definitely an old gun <laughs> <laughs> And I just found a second one, guys. I can't believe it. As this one looks full, let's see <laughs> what we're working with. Garrett and Company Inc. Virginia mm, Dare. Virginia Dare, New York. That is so cool. I wonder what it was. Oh, it's a wine bottle, guys. American wine. And this is from New York. Just found this little piece of plate. And on it, it has this little raven, and you can tell it's China, which is pretty cool. And I just found this little beacon bottle, and it says not to be sold on it. Is that rounded? Oh, wow. Look at this freaking bottle, guys. This thing is huge. One gallon, and it's rounded. You never find one gallon rounded. I found this Kentucky bourbon bottle. I just found another one of those dropper bottles. This one's got stuff in it. <laughs> you guys Sheffield milk and I just found a horseshoe from the junior tournament <laughs> that's so cool I think we just found a boat guys a boat top a boat look the rest this is the whole okay. boat <laughs> this is literally a boat right here I wish I had a sticker to slap on this thing. Holy crap. It's not every day you find a whole freaking boat <laughs> hanging out on the beach. Found this old milk bottle. It says milk for health on it. You can kind of see what this used to say. It says pitch rye on it. Must have been a soda or a beer of some sort. And after I found that last milk bottle, we're finding this one. We've been finding a lot of milk bottles that aren't broken today. Anybody need an iron? Because we just stumbled across five of them. Another little light bulb. There's so many light bulbs in this pile. Oh, this is a keeper. Look at this one. This has got a really cool shape to it. It's got texture. Sonia's gonna love it. I always love finding these old soda bottles. And after that, Sonia found this green bottle that had a wick in it. Sonia just found this little cup. That's a cool color. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, and there's, we just found a purse. Let's see if there's anything inside of it. No, it's actually it's missing its side completely. <laughs> Tanner's about to go 
get a Coke bottle I spotted. Hopefully it's not broken. I'm on a mission. <laughs> That's always a favorite. Coke bottle and on the bottom it says New York, guys. Nice. Whoa. Boss. We found some boss. Did we? Uh-huh. I like this one. <sighs> Those are always so creepy. That is so sketchy. It looks like a lizard arm from a baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's shaped. Oh, and we got a green light bulb. You loved when I found one last time. I've got another cast iron. It is missing the handle though. I wish it had the handle. What do you guys think? Should I clean this one up? Sonia says she's got something over here. What do you got? Oh. <laughs> Water in the eyes is what I got. Ooh. It's a squib bottle. Whoa, a blue squib. Yeah. Usually they're green. Uh-huh. We have a jumbo one that's blue. Uh -huh. Now we got a little cool. squib. Add mm -hmm. to the squib collection, guys. The top's a little hurt. All right, guys. Sonia's about to be stoked because I'm stoked because we just got a keeper. It's a little chipped, but look at this lemon juicer, guys. Iron number seven. Whoa, you guys, look at this little horse. You win Philips Milk of Magnesia bottle. Now, we love these cobalt bottles. We've got so many of them at the house. This is really cool of a find. And I've got another cast iron pan, but it's missing the handle, guys. I'm not going to take that one. All right, what do we got here, guys? What do we got here? Carbonated pickupper. Excellent mixer. I wonder what this was for. If you need a little pick me up, I suppose. All right, guys, I just called Sonia over. Let's see if he can spot it before I pick it up. She's coming. An old revolver. Oh, no way. Look at that. It might be a toy one, though. Yeah, looking at that, maybe. Mm -hmm. But that could have also been for a screw, too. True, for the handle. Yeah. Also, next to it. That is awesome. This old lock. And I just looked over, guys. <laughs> and I found another little piece of an old revolver. No. You can see the trigger right here on the bottom and the handle. I don't know what this is, but it's solid glass. Maybe to put your soap on or something? I think I might keep this. Add myself to the tally. I got a little bit of a lid, but we got a second genuine Phillips Mocha Magnesia. Here is the eighth iron of the day. And I got another light bulb. Has some wheels to a roller skate. Here's iron number nine, guys. Here's iron number 10. <laughs> yep, it is a Noxema. I've got another one of those dropper bottles. Put on this one. A little tiny guy. All the way in there. Yeah, Vicks Vapro. This. And it says Thomas Edison Incorporated, West Orange, New York. Oh, it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> It's got a broken spot. Man. Another round one. That would have been cool. There we go. And this is a Gordon's gin bottle. It says Linden on the side. Someone decided to decorate this tree by covering it in bottlenecks. They're literally everywhere. Here it says New Jersey on the side. Ooh, Ooh this is a Gordon's gin, but this one is from New Jersey. Oh, crap. It's so sad. We thought we just had the bike. jackpot yeah. with these freaking oh. blue bottles. There's two of them you. here. Pulling this out of the wall. Uh, There's a whole, oh, Tanner got a blue one. There's a whole yeah. bunch of light bulb holders there. It's a squib. And we got another squib bottle. A blue <laughs> one. Mm -hmm, we love these squib <laughs> bottles. And this is another one of those ink bottles. This one still has ink in it as well, and it's got a cork in the top. And I think I just found an ashtray. Huh, that's cool. And we found another Pepsi Cola bottle. And here's the whole frame to a bicycle. You got the handlebars here and the front part. And you guys know what I feel about old tools got another old pair of pliers that's a second pair this weekend we were doing some magnet fishing yesterday over by the statue of liberty and i found a pair of pliers let me go ahead and show you guys that now we've got a pair of super old pliers super corroded we're gonna get these cleaned up and see how they look it almost looks like they're cutters of some sort because this side's a little bit bigger than this side and we've got a shampoo bottle here it says shampoo on it. I can't read the name of it, but I thought I found a gun when I saw the handle, but it's not. 
little caulking done. For those of you who don't know, this is an old dump from the 30s to the 60s. And the water just erodes everything out. We find things like shoes and there's glass bottles up inside these hills. And every time the water comes up, more stuff just gets eroded out. What's it say? It says liquor on the side. Come true, we got a big oh, version yeah. of this. Oh yeah, let's keep that, that's cool. It's got a cork in it still. Extra fancy Kalmata figs, guaranteed fumigated package under expert supervision. Oh, and somebody's got a Coke bottle from New York, guys. Oh yeah. There's another one. Okay. That's cool looking. This is California on it. Sonya's about to be so stoked. Oh, I got bamboozled! Oh, man. I thought it's I... kind of like that other wine bottle you It thought. does. It's another one of those That's California deep, ones. Though. It's the same label. I like that, though. Dang it, I thought this was another one of those ones Sonya found. He coming for this blue dark <laughs> And look at that cup. I want that cup. It's a nice little cup. Iron number 12. See what this is. It's got a label on it. Oh, and I've got another 7-Up bottle. This one's in pretty good shape. Be a squib, be a squib, be a squib, be a squib. Please be a squib. And it's a squib. Ooh, guys. And I just found this old camera. That's freaking cool. Bromo seltzer. Oh. <laughs> we don't look, find too many Bromo seltzers. Look at that. Yeah. Whoa. Look at this, guys. Sonya's going to love this. It says... McNichol, China from 1951 and it's property of the city of New York. I don't know if that was ordered. Now it's the property of Tanner and Sonia. Oh, house number or something? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> iron number 13 and next to the iron is an iron. <laughs> Look at this old golf club head, guys. I'm going to take this for my dad. Old, old wooden wheel. That's got to be pretty old. I just found an old Ford wrench. Ooh, we got a plate over here, guys, and it says something on the back. Walker, China. Vitrified in Bedford, Ohio. We just found this cool old roller skate. That's so sick. That's awesome. Another little squib bottle. We are on a roll with the squib bottles today. Oh, and I just found an old Man. crescent wrench right here. Cleaned it up a little bit so you guys can see it better. You can see right here where you would adjust it. I gotta beat the waves, guys. Gotta beat the waves. <laughs> it doesn't say anything on it, but it's a blue cobalt. All right, I see something lost down here. It says Astring Osol. I wonder what that was. Got something over here in Boss. It says Contru. And on the other side, it says Liqueur. We have found a little one of these earlier today, and we have one of these big ones at home too. It's super cool. I love these. So we just found a piece of an old metal picture frame and I found a cram and I just found another roller skate we've been finding a lot of roller skates today so my eyes have been trained to find bottles here the past couple times we've come and now I'm just trying to look at iron I want to find some more guns we've been on a scissor kick today and we found another set of scissors half was missing and then right after that I found this piece of chain that had a lock on it now this lock was a little bit older it looked like, but we weren't able to separate it from the chain, so we left it. Earlier I walked by here and someone had said some other stuff, but look at this. They left us a Bromo Seltzer, a Philips Mocha Magnesia. There's this tiny blue bottle, Sonia's gonna love that. And it looks like a little Vix, nope, that's a little Noxima one. I just found a little vial of something. I wonder what this was for. The 15th iron we found today. This was probably one of my favorite finds of the day. I wonder the last time somebody skated on this ice skate. Ooh, and Sonya's got another knife. We seriously couldn't believe all the irons we were finding. Oh, this one, it says Proctor. <laughs> That's cool. We found another part of a gun. Back to a revolver. That was, this crazy. And after Sonya found her handle, we found another little gun sitting right next to it. At this point, I seriously didn't know how many guns we had found that day, but I found this other revolver laying right next to the other two. It's a revolver for sure. <laughs> yeah, look at that. that. Oh my goodness. How are we finding so many today? 
That is just wild to me. How do we walk past all these? Because we were paying attention to like <laughs> any of the metal, only the bottles. That's crazy. I just caught so many over. We got <laughs> another one, guys. This I is this. this is the seventh one that we found today. This one's tiny. <laughs> pew pew. Found another skate, except this one was for a freaking giant. No matter what kind of exploring we're doing, Sonia always finds a knife. You guys, I just found another gun. Is this number seven? I think it might be eight. Number seven or eight even. You can see it's a revolver. That is so cool. I'm so excited. I found three in one day. And I was hoping to find a couple of these. Oh, that is freaking old, guys. Tanner was just talking about finding a horseshoe. That is a super old Holy horseshoe. Holy cow. From when Dead Horse Bay probably was still freaking killing horses <laughs> here. So I just found another pair of scissors. It looks like, guys, we have another old horseshoe at Dead Horse Bay. Have the barrel to another gun, guys. That is wild. <laughs> That's like nine! <laughs> this is crazy! This is like the ninth part of a gun we found today. They just keep stacking up, guys. So he just got this hammer head. And we found another one. This one was for sure a toy, but at the end of the day, we had totaled 12 guns between the toys and real ones. That's gonna be all for today's episode, guys. If you liked today's episode, make sure you guys hit subscribe and get those alerts turned on. If you guys have not, head over to Scuba Sonia's channel and make sure you guys hit subscribe and let her know I sent you down in the comments. I post new videos every single Friday. I'll see you guys next week. Bah!